Here, this is where we are, is a national park. We don't really start in front of the cave, we actually start below. Then in that way you get to enjoy more, it's a more exciting tour. And then you're wondering where is the cave, where is the cave? Where is the cave? And there is the cave. This cave goes seven kilometers into the mountain. The Mayas actually believed in the journey to the underworld. So inside there is pottery, there is skeletal remains, and the history of them was they believed in reincarnation. They wanted to come back to this life either a monkey or a jaguar. So the cave was used strictly for burial, no ceremonial activity, only for the journey to the underworld, the world of reincarnation. All these formations, they come off the walls. They are called table rock formation. But if you notice, it's wet. And that's telling you that this is a living cave and that's the reason why we don't allow swimming. Just use your imagination as to what they appear to you. You see like that one on the way back is going to look like a totem pole. So from this point, your soul was guided by the God of the underworld, Shibalba. Right there is the family one realized. And that's from human behavior. Twenty years ago it was protected. It was made into what it is now, a national park, a protected area. Actually, it's my effort for the past 30 years that I had worked hard, diligently. And these are the rules that we follow to preserve and prevent the cave from being destroyed. So the cave could last for generations and generations to come. So if you get a chance to come over to Belize and you want to have a good tour, the original guide is David, who happens to be me, David Simpson. And you had been to one of the most fascinating caving systems in all of Belize.